Belgium, synthetic biology is a very new field with lots of potential in the future. So it's a, and it's a combination of you know computing and modeling skills and also your biology skills. I've never, never had any experience of synthetic biology. I didn't really know much. I knew about genetics. I knew how it can be done because we 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 learned that in our first year just as an introduction. Says so we can modify bacteria's genetic code. We learn it, but we never actually do it. Uh, we never get part. Uh, get to take part in design of what we want to add to bacteria. It's not, it's not practiced in universities in general. So this is kind of a unique experience for me. <laughs> With iGEM, we got to choose the topic on our own. Like we held meetings, everybody did research on like what they thought we could do. And then we voted in the end for all forms. So then we're all involved in the process of choosing what we wanted to work with. From some of the papers that we've read, they've grown um, L forms in plants and also just plants on its own. And then it's shown that the plants with L forms in them are less likely to get fungal infections. And um, if we do put a gene in it, for example, some sort of plant hormone or some sort of thing that's beneficial for the plant. It could be even like more beneficial for the plant for future uses. For example, increased crop yield. If we want to create something novel, we need to model it and model it on sort of uh, ideas that we know. We, we, we know some facts about biology. We need to try and mix it up with what we wanted to do and have a com completely new model of a new organism. Yeah, well, yeah, you just have to discuss things, um, and we actually have we have meetings once a week, sort of where everything sort of gets thrashed out as to what we need to be doing to move the project forward. All of us have really different backgrounds, and the ways we work are quite different. And to come together as a group, and to kind of use everybody's strength, and to get as far as we can, I think, has been the greatest challenge. been increased to a team leader so I'm like in charge of a whole team like uh, organizing timeline managing uh, stuff that's going on like f uh, helping find funding and stuff like that lab skills that we gain from it learn use learning to use different computer softwares thinking on the spot because things don't work in labs and it's it's perfectly normal because uh, it's just it's nature it's all chance more or less it behaves in, under some sort of rules but it's never perfect and i think i feel more confident now that i would like to you know continue perhaps to a phd something like that whereas beforehand i wouldn't have been so certain in, most importantly what i've learned is uh, the other side of the synthetic biology so in in terms of modeling never touch computer like in term, never touch like models and you know uh, Java languages, computer languages before, I have no idea, but once we start, we have a training week and then it's kind of like, oh, this is actually very fun, so I think that's the thing that I've learned most so far. I think perhaps hopefully we can win like in the championship and then win that gold medal, so that would be like, really good. Be fantastic. Um, we put a lot of time into it. Um, it. It's a massive competition, and there's a huge amount of people uh, competing from all over the world. So to actually win it would just be fantastic. You know.